All right, so Julie Green is at it again. She's got a new video out, put out on October 12th. Here it is, Tulsi Gabbard Prophecy Fulfilled. It's in the title. It's also on the thumbnail, Tulsi Gabbard Prophecy Fulfilled. Is that true? Hey, and not yesterday. I was so itching to get this to you yesterday because this is a huge prophecy. That has been fulfilled. The well, look at that. Julie is just downright giddy. She is itching to get this video up because, as you heard, she says it's prophecy fulfilled. Now, before I present my case, I want to present a challenge to the followers of Julie Green. Have you seen the Tulsi Gabbard news? Have you listened to the Julie Green video? where she touts that indeed prophecy was fulfilled? Do you think it's true, even right now in this moment? Because what I've noticed clearly is a pattern of the followers simply resisting truth and siding with their rock star social media prophet, regardless of how much evidence is presented. And again, they deny the truth, even going as far as to choosing to modify prophecies and to bring up other things like, well, uh, God will do it in his time. Well, Julie has decreed that this prophecy is already fulfilled. So do you think that it's true? Or when you see my presentation here, will you think that there's even a chance that you could change your mind about Julie? I leave that to you because I really want you to consider this because I'm about to show you indeed that this prophecy was not fulfilled in any way, shape, or form. And then I'll present some further information about Tulsi Gabbard you might not be familiar with, as again, Julie is very excited about all of this. Now let's come back to the video, and here's what she posted. This is from her archives. She says this was made back in February, and I believe her. Not sure if you can read it. I'll read it for you. She says, watch. Now, Keep in mind, she says that this is God saying this, okay? This is what she says is a prophecy. She says, watch, news will break out about Tulsi Gabbard. She is changing sides, changing sides. Remember that. From blue to red, she has seen what is going on and cannot stand for what they stand for. This is important, too. We're going to come to that. Yes. Tulsi is not one of them. Watch, my children, as more switch sides. More will suddenly retire and step down. They know they will not win this time. The, Democrat, the Democratic Party, as you know it and see it now, will be no more. So that is the prophecy. But do words matter? And, of course, the answer is yes. We're going to address this first issue up here where she says, God says, she is changing sides from blue to red. Did that happen as of October 12th? Right now it's about 1230 in the afternoon. Has she switched sides from blue to red? Now, as Julie smiles and giggles because she thinks she's bringing prophecy fulfilled, she cites this article. This is from The Guardian. And she reads a couple of excerpts and says that this is proof of prophecy fulfilled. Now, here is that same article. I have brought it up, and you can certainly go back and reference. This is indeed the article that Julie is citing. And as we come down, you can read, the former congresswoman and 2020 presidential hopeful Tulsi Gabbard has announced her departure from the Democratic Party, calling it an elite, I'm sorry, an elitist cabal of war mongers. She indeed confesses that she has departed from the Democratic Party. Now let's come back to the prophecy. Was the prophecy that she says God said that Tulsi would depart 
from the Democratic Party? Or was the prophecy that she would change sides from blue to red? Did that happen? And the answer is no. There is no headline, as Julie likes to say. God says, watch the headlines. There is no headline where it says, Tulsi Gabbard has now become a Republican or has switched to the red. This has not happened. If you can find the headline, remember, as of about 1230 in the afternoon, she made this much earlier, by the way, but as of today, October 12th, there is no documentation, no admission by Tulsi, no headline, and no report showing that she is now a Republican. It's just not true. Tulsi Gabbard has a past history of actually supporting Bernie Sanders, if you can believe that. So this is not a prophecy fulfilled. And I can hear it now. The followers will fight tooth and nail to defend their rock star. But she's wrong. The, she says, these are the words of God Almighty. And it's not true. You can tell. Do you know how you can tell that these are not the words of God Almighty? Because God cannot lie. And God doesn't miss prophecy. So again, of course, you're going to make that decision. I know so many of you love Julie Green. And you put her on this pedestal and you think she's actually hearing from God. But she's not. And again, the arguments will be, well, yeah, but she probably will. She might. You, you just have to wait for God's timing. She'll switch to the Red Party in the future. Yeah, maybe she will. But that's not today. This is what she said was fulfilled today in her video. She's confirming that it was fulfilled. She said it in the title. She said it in the thumbnail. And she audibly said it within the content of this video. And right now, this is not true. Does this matter? Oh, yes, it does. It does matter. So many think that it doesn't matter because these alleged prophets have dumbed down the word of God to their followers. They think that God is flawed or that God is just kind of casual or, you know, you, you know what he means to say. No, that's not it at all. No word of God falls to the ground. Only the words of false prophets fall to the ground. Now, again, one thing that's it's kind of funny as we come back to this article that Julie herself touted. These false prophets who, I've said it before, they, they watch the news and then they make their psychic predictions. No one, nobody, I think, that has a pulse finds it unusual, out of the ordinary, that Tulsi Gabbard left the Democratic Party. Everybody saw it coming. How do you know? Well, Julie didn't bother to read farther down. A couple of points of interest in this same article. Uh, she, this is where she says, I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party. But if you go down, it gives a little bio. Look what it says. In 2012, Gabbard became the first Samoan American voting member and Hindu. <laughs> She's a Hindu. Look at this. So she's an idolater. She worships a false god who is not the god of the Bible. Interesting. But Julie's all excited because, it, you see, it doesn't matter that she's an idolater. What matters is she's a Republican. She's coming. She's going to help out the Trumpers. But look what it says here. But her views have often sat uncomfortably with the Democratic Party. In 2016, the then congresswoman from Hawaii announced she was leaving the Democratic Party. National Committee to what? Endorse Bernie Sanders for president. This isn't her first rodeo. She's been threatening to leave the Democratic Party for what? This is 2016. That's six years. She's always had sort of flip-flopping views. It's quite telling. If you scroll down more in that same article that Julie touted, uh, it says her attitudes on foreign policy, meanwhile, have often favored authoritarian figures disavowed by the Democrats. She's always taken opposing stands on many issues 
against the Democrats. This is not new news. Again, this goes to prove that Julie Green merely watches the news. So it wasn't a, a stretch to make this type of prediction. You could see it in all the interviews. And even if you scroll down farther, uh, in August, she filled in for the, the uh, far-right Fox News talk show host, Tucker Carlson. Does that mean that she is going to become a Republican? Well, it doesn't matter. What matters is she is not today a Republican. Furthermore, if you do your research on Tulsi, this is a headline. Uh, boy, this was back quite a ways from 2018. Representative Tulsi Gabbard says Trump is Saudi Arabia's in a tweet. Boy, she doesn't sound like she likes Trump very much. Is, is that going to conflict with Julie and all the Christian nationalists who have made Donald Trump their messiah? Wow. I wonder if Julie knows about this. Do you think if she reads this, she'll come out with a new prophecy saying that the angel of death will soon visit Tulsi Gabbard for daring? To speak against my second begotten son, saith the Lord of hosts. Something like that. Just a question. Here's a website. When Tulsi Gabbard was running for president, talks about the issues. You scroll down, you can see what is what is Tulsi's position on abortion? Look what she said here. The very real possibility of Roe versus Wade being overturned terrifies me, she says. I am sick of women's bodies being used as pawns so politicians can score cheap political points at the expense of their freedom and safety. I am wholly committed to abortion remaining safe, legal, and rare. We must commit to defending a woman's right to choose. I also support sensible codifying of Roe versus Wade, preventing third trimester abortion, except when there are uh, grave or life-threatening health uh, consequences for the mother. Oh, so she, she at least would prevent third trimester abortion. She's committed uh, that part, but look, look at the rest. It's quite telling. And notice also another, for those that found Julie's alleged prophecy of Roe versus Wade being overturned just out of the blue and fantastic and amazing, uh, they were even talking about it. This is back in 2020. Even then, Tulsi absolutely confirms that people were already thinking about Roe versus Wade being overturned back then. So there's a little twofer. Here's a tweet that she put out in 2019. The Alabama abortion bill is extremely dangerous. It completely takes away the freedom of a woman to choose whether or not to have an abortion, even if a woman slash girl is a victim of rape or incest. This law must be rejected. Hashtag abortion is a woman's right. Wow. Is that the kind of prophecy you think God Almighty is putting forth over a person? who currently does not even hold any political office. Isn't this just crazy? So how about it? How did you do? Do you, do you think this is still prophecy fulfilled? And, and I know, sadly, the majority of the followers will say, yeah, yeah, it's prophecy fulfilled over a, a person who, again, doesn't even hold political office right now, worships another god, and advocates for the absolute destruction and slaughter of babies in the womb. It's unbelievable. And she's all giggly and smiley about this. Now, just so we can tie up loose ends and even head off any additional questions some followers might have, this is within that same video that she did. This is another prophecy, so she says, about uh, Tulsi Gabbard that she says God said. And here it says, continue to watch Tulsi Gabbard and her words. The tide is turning, and more people from the left will go to the right. My children, I know you are asking, Lord, how can we trust anyone from that side? My children, watch. Some will have an honest change of heart 
not everyone has sold their souls to the devil. Now, again, something to, you know, when you're reading these words that she says God spoke, uh, look at what she's saying. More people from the left will go to the right. Again, this is not Tulsi Gabbard. She has not gone to the right. She says, Lord, how can we trust anyone from that side? Good question for a normal situation. But she says, God says, watch. Some people will have an honest change of heart. Did Tulsi Gabbard have this honest change of heart? Did she change her views on abortion? Did she change gods from the God of Hindu to Jesus Christ? Have you seen that? Remember, she says that this is prophecy fulfilled. So in order for this prophecy to be fulfilled, this would have had to have already happened as of October 12th. Do you see this anywhere? And the answer is no. Conclusion, false prophet again. How many times do I have to come out here and show you that Julie Green is a false prophet? It's amazing. And still, do you think the followers will, will reject her? And the answer is no. Her channel will grow because these people refuse to stand on the side of Jesus Christ in truth and sober-mindedness, and they have represented themselves as the Second Timothy 4.3 generation. They've thrown away sound doctrine in lieu of fables because they have itching ears, and I'm paraphrasing. It's absolutely astonishing. But I pray that if you're a follower of these social media false Trump prophets, come away from them. Come back to the Bible. Serve Jesus Christ in truth and sober-mindedness. In Jesus' name I pray.